All right, so here we go. Last video notes of the semester. Um, hopefully you're excited. Uh, but it's covering uh, section 6.6. .6. So let me get this thing all situated here. And we're going to look at more exponential and logarithmic equations. So, you know, again, keep in mind your relationships. You know, you've got your base. You got your exponent, you got your number in a logarithm. Same thing for the natural log. But when we're solving logarithmic equations, you must always have the one side of the equation as a single logarithm equal to your exponent. Okay, so here's where we have to use our laws of logarithms. So if I'm looking at this example right here and I want to solve for X I cannot change it to a logarithm so what I do is I rewrite the left side as a single logarithm it's what we did in class last time so I'm not worried about this equal sign here yet I'm looking at this expression, and this resembles law one, so I will use law one. So that gives me a single log. <clears throat> My base is three of x times x plus eight, which gives me two. So now I have a base. I have an exponent and this whole thing is now my number so I will change to an exponential equation and I'm gonna take the X times the X plus 8 equals 3 squared you cannot forget your base to the exponent now I'm going to solve for X so what I do here is I take X squared plus 8x is 9 subtract 9 from both sides to get X squared plus 8x minus 9 is 0 now I've got to factor So if I factor, I need factors of negative 9 with a difference of positive 8, which are 9 and negative 1. Then I solve. And I get x is negative 9 or x is 1. Now, the problem here is we've got to make sure both of these solutions will work. So if I look up here to the original equation, our domain, you know, whatever we take the logarithm of has to be greater than zero. So therefore, my domain for this one is x is greater than negative 8. For here, x is greater than zero. Well, to work in both of them, they must be bigger than negative 8. I mean 0. Sorry about that. So my domain is x is greater than 0 because it's got to be able to work both. And I always pick the larger of the two. So therefore, the negative 9 does not work and 1 is the only true solution to this particular equation. Okay? So you know, we, we can look at our domain and say our before we start or at the end. So for this example, I'll check my domain from the beginning. So my domain for this one is x is greater than negative 6 and x is greater than negative 2. So I pick the bigger one. So in order to satisfy both of these, my solution must be greater than negative 2. So I'm going to go back up here like I did earlier, 
and I'm going to make this sum of two logarithms using law one a single logarithm. So I use law one to get log base five and then I get x plus six times x plus two is one. change to an exponential equation. So x plus 6 times x plus 2 is 5 to the first power. Then now I'm going to solve. So I do my FOIL method here. x squared plus 2x plus 6x plus 12 is 5, x squared plus 8x plus 12 is 5. Subtract my 5 from both sides, x squared plus 8x plus 7 is 0. Factor So numbers that multiply to give you 7 that add to be 8. Solve. And then choose whether both, one, or none of the solutions work. <clears throat> Since our domain we found was x is greater than negative 2, negative 1 is the only solution that works. Negative 7 will not check once we substitute it back in. Okay, so, you know, you just got to remember your steps. Rewrite, get it as a single log, change to your exponential equation, and then solve from there. All right, so that's uh, these logarithmic equations using your laws where we use law one. We have another one where we do the same thing. I'm going to save that for class, and let's skip on down to where we use law two. So, for law 2, so again, I will use law 2, and I'm going to get the natural log of x over x minus 1 is 2.5. Now, I'm going to change to an exponential equation and remember your base is E so on my calculator I figure out what E to the 2.5 is and I get about 12.2 so X over X minus 1 equals 12.2 so at this point, we do have a fractional equation. Um, we can multiply both sides by x minus 1, or you can cross multiply, whatever you want to do. So these cancel. So I'm left with x equals 12.2 times x minus 1. Go ahead and distribute. I mean, I know it looks bad because you got decimals, but decimals are numbers too. Now, I'm going to subtract 12.2 x from both sides. So, this is like 1. So, 1 minus 12.2 is negative 11.2 is negative 12.2 x. Negative 11.2 x is negative 12.2. Divide both sides by negative 11.2. And I get x is roughly 1.1. So, Looking at our domain, just to make sure that this solution is valid, here, x must be greater than 0, 
and x is greater than 1, so we pick the bigger of the two, so that's my domain, so therefore that's okay. <laughs> Let's look at another one. All right, so our next example, we do have another difference, which means we're going to use law two. And I'm going to take my numerator over my denominator using law two to write one log. Now I'm going to change to the exponential equation. So 3x over x minus 2 is 3 squared. Can't forget your base. 3x over x minus 2 is 9. And again, you can either multiply both sides by x minus 2. And this time I'm going to show you um, how to do it by cross multiplying. So I cross multiply and I get 3x is 9 times the quantity x minus 2 subtract 9x from both sides and I get x equals 3 and looking at our domain x must be greater than 0 and greater than 2 so my domain is x is greater than 2 so therefore this one's okay alright so they're not easy you know there's good and bad to both um, with the difference of two logs you're gonna have fractional equations but one don't have to factor with the law one you're gonna have equations where odds are you're gonna have to do some factoring so that's solving logarithmic equations using our laws now we're going to look at solving exponential equations with bases other than e or 10. So we've solved exponential equations, but we've had bases that we could put right into our calculator. So here's where you're going to have to use your change of base formula. So always make sure you've got your base to the exponent isolated. Like here, 2 to the x, we're good. Then you rewrite it as a logarithm, solve for the variable. So, do not divide by 2. Okay, you can't divide because x is an exponent. So everything looks good here. I'm going to change to a logarithm. So, log base 2 of 5 is your x. Then I'm going to use my change of base to have log 5 over log 2 equals x. Put that into my calculator. And I get 2.32 equals my x. And remember, you can check these very quickly. Take 2 to the 2.32 power, uh, power, and you should get about 5. <clears throat> Next one, same thing. No different than the first one. So I'm going to change to a logarithm. And this time I'm going to put my x on the left side. Doesn't really matter how you write it. But just know this is log base 4 of 35. Do not do 4 to the 35th power. Do not. Because you're going to get a number so big it, that shouldn't make sense to you. So please, don't do it. Then I'm going to do my change of base. To get x is log 35 over log 4. Put it into my calculator. and I get 1.66 no I don't 
Let me try. I must hit the wrong button. See, I, I knew that was wrong because 4 squared is 16. It's got to be bigger than 2. So if you hit your wrong button, you should know that. 2.56. So that's a good lesson. Um, just because you put in your calculator doesn't mean it's right. Always check yourself by your logic. Like 2 squared is 5, 2 cubed is 8. Should be between 2 and 3, and it was up here. 4 squared is 16. 4 cubed is 64. Should be somewhere between 2 and 3. Okay. Now, this one here, the base to the exponent is not isolated. See, I can divide by 8. I can't divide by 3, but I can divide by 8. So I get 3 to the x is 5 eighths. Well, that decimal terminates, so I'm just going to go ahead and make that 5 eighths point six two five. Now, I change to a logarithm. So, x is log base 3 of point six two five. Use your change of base. Please make sure you can do this. I see these missed on the test so much. And I get x is negative 0.43. Okay. All right, last, uh, the only difference in this last one is we have an expression in the exponent. Our base and exponent are isolated. So from here, I can change to a logarithm. So x plus 2 is log base 3 of 7. x plus 2 is log 7 divided by log 3. And I get 1.77. Subtract 2. So x is negative 0.23. So there you go. Okay, now we will do more of these in class. Um, you know, the overall process is not changing. Uh, you just have to know how to use your change of base formula and you have to use your laws to solve some of these others. So that's it, and uh, we'll see you in class.